Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 4. We are um, on the other side of the river, still. Uh, whoops, that's not... right. There is no hotkey for the map here. I keep forgetting whenever I haven't played for a while, but that's nothing new. Right, so we are on the other side of the river. We, I was just on my way um, to actually enter the castle, but of course I got sidetracked. I decided to skirt around Amaria and arrived at a veritable Swiss cheese of of tiny uh, tiny um, caves and corridors down here by the southernmost cave wall, and we found some interesting things. And uh, we found this uh, this bandit queen here, who uh, was one of the most involved, most um, well, I don't know, complicated encounters. I mean, not not complicated to fight, but most, with the most uh, uh, sophisticated setup, with multiple phases and splitting up, and um, pretty interesting. Um, unfortunately, the reward wasn't that great in the end, but I guess it was since it had to do with the inverted crown problem. It was probably a thing that we had to do eventually, anyway. Um, anyway, um, another part of this cave here has lots of colorful crystals and these weird icy crystal mist creatures that are just floating around um, passively, not attacking me, but one of them is blocking the path. So uh, I want to see if I can fight them and kill them and if it's guarding something good. This creature is an insubstantial wisp of energy, probably the product of natural magic in the cavern. Yes. Okay. I think that's exactly the same thing as um, as it said about the, the one that's floating around here. Well then, um, in order to attack it, we need to just do this. Um, we need to be in combat, and then we need to just do this. Okay. It takes very little physical damage. And it retaliates... Oh my god. Okay, so much for being able to attack them, huh? Or being able to kill them. Uh, so they retaliate with what fear, stun, um, and some sort of paralysis. That's amazing. Uh, oh wow, they don't take any damage from anything, unless they count as undead. But even then, oh okay, they do. I mean, that's nice and all, but obviously. If they just uh, kill my tank or kill the rest of the party while, yikes! I mean, we're, we're not fully buffed, I guess. Hold, hold on, hold on, just, just a second. All right, I was not expecting these things to be this bad. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, change of plan, slight change of plan. Hi there. Why are you wandering here? Uh, actually, maybe if we could get this guy. Hmm. I mean, he's kind of stuck here, right? He. I guess he could leave. Wait, now he can't leave. But that being said, uh, I wonder if we could get one of these guys to actually wander out the out of the chamber, away from his friends. We might be able to attack him without the rest of them joining. Uh. I don't really want to rely on that because that's um, that's only going to work with one of them, obviously. And there's like I don't know how many of them, half a dozen of them in this room. Um, well, I don't know. Let's let's give it a try. I'm going to cast haste on her for sure. Everyone else can't really do much. That's the problem. But we can do uh, this. We can cast a prismatic shield, protecting us from magic a little bit at least. Although I guess they're not really using magic, are they? Hmm. But we can buff our defense. She can go here. Oh, and we'll actually be able to attack her. Possibly. Um, yes, can I please? Can I please cast? Do I click on it again? I do, okay. Might be 
damage? 25? Okay, I mean, that, that's better than what it was before. I guess we put a fire? Oh, oh, okay. They just happen to be resistant to lightning, I suppose. And probably immune to frost, if I had to guess. But fireworks, all right. Huh, fireworks. I mean, that's good to know. But obviously, this is by far our best option. Look at that damage. Nice. Don't know why she just two-shot that one. I guess it's just random dice rolls. So I guess we can probably make it after all. Yeah. Okay. Now they're coming. We'll have Mike stuck here so he cannot run further into the cave. Um, I mean, you... Yeah, unfortunately we cannot use the Fire Blast yet. Mm, I mean, none of our crowd controls are going to work, right? Maybe slow. Actually, oh, it's a single target, I forget. Uh, in that case, I think we focus on... Well, I mean, weakened like this, she should definitely be able to kill this one, right? Even if she rolls low both times. So I think we just weaken both of them to an extent, and then have her finish one of them off. Okay. Attack. Okay, we got distracted. Idiot. Um... We'll do that, and then we have her step forward, kill this guy, and with any luck he's so annoyed at uh, the mage that he won't attack anyone else. Nope. He didn't get fooled. Not long enough. Alright, I was not expecting this to go this well at first, but yeah, it's just a... A matter of choosing the right weapon, the right tool for the job. Mm. I mean, we can actually exit combat, and I don't know if that was all of them. If I had to guess, I would assume that at least the guy guarding the passage, blocking the passage there, probably didn't budge. Okay, there is one more. Is he hostile? Yep, sure enough. Well... No reason to hold back, then. Okay, two more. Well, I'm, I mean, we'll do the same thing as before, and damage both of them, and then kill them off one at a time. The only one of them left. We should basically be safe, yeah. You guys just do nothing. Might as well. And... Yeah, we'll just do this, and then she should be able to finish him with one more spell. And just making sure... Yes, okay. That was actually all of them. Alright, and we get, for our troubles, a piercing crystal, which is completely useless. And a wisdom crystal, which is... not completely useless, but... you know... also, ultimately not that big of a deal, I guess. But, I mean, I suppose they, they also turned out to be not that impossible. Not as impossible as I first thought. Alright, okay. Well then. Oh, there's a building here. I guess just more farms, probably? Oh, it's also tiny. Well, fair enough. Oh man, I... I, I know, I, I should go to the castle, and I, and I will, I promise. But I'm, I'm so... it's so tempting to just follow the cape wall and just look what else there is to be found. This is, you know, even this many games into the series, I'm still excited about just exploring and finding new stuff. I don't know if that says more about the game or about me. Oh, hello. Are you guys who fled from Omaria, or...? Hmm, it doesn't look like I can really talk to anyone here. Not meaningfully. There are two merchant caravans stranded here, trapped by Amaria's refusal to let them through. Okay. Yeah. 
until they can get east, they're camping here, hunting for wild lizards, playing games, and complaining. One merchant mentions that there are some castle soldiers camped nearby that look like a raiding party. There is a tiny amount of optimism that the gates will be open soon. Raiding party, uh, Well, I mean... Oh, hello, Gilliam. There is a man here selling crystals out of the back of his wagon. It looks like he has a very valuable inventory, which would explain why two gigantic guards stand watchfully nearby. He doesn't look like he thinks you're likely to buy anything, but there aren't any more likely customers around. Any more likely customers around. Welcome, Traveler. I'm Gilliam, a crystal merchant of some renown, stranded, alas, by this road. Are you looking for a gift to impress a young lady or gentleman? Or perhaps you wish to recreate the Vanatai magical arts? <laughs> uh, can you actually help with that? Then something in this humble wagon may be for you. I mean, if, if you actually have practically useful crystals, then I might be interested. Um, sure, show them to me. He actually does sell a wisdom crystal. Well, you know what? Might as well buy that one. Um, would you like to buy some of my goods? Alas, my wealth is all in crystals, not coin. Well, I mean, I happen to have quite a few crystals, actually. Okay, whatever. He points to the northwest. Perhaps some of the merchants outside the castle gates can help you. Northwest. That might be where we uh, were last episode. Uh, why are you stranded here? Because of the insanity of the Almarians, who are not letting me through. My ultimate destination is for this cargo is the Tower Colony. I would try harder to get through, but some merchants who came before me were executed. Fortunately... I have reason to believe that this state of affairs will not last for long. Why is that? Because there is a party of elite Avernite soldiers camped just south of here, and although they are quiet about their purpose, I know that they are watching Almaria constantly. Hmm. I mean, something will have to happen about Almaria. Of course, an armed raid slaughtering at least the, the city guard, if not a good number of citizens as well, uh, would be most unfortunate, if maybe effective. But, I, of course, I also don't know what the alternative would be. I mean, obviously, I guess I can... I could go through the tunnel and reach the shade directly, but I'd have to find a way to actually, uh, you know, get rid of them first. Well, I mean, I guess we'll go to the castle and talk to the king, and maybe, most likely, actually, he's going to have to say something about this raiding party. Uh, so, we'll see. How that works out. Another question. Um, tell me something about the Great Cave, I guess. Well, there are many settlements here apart from Almaria, about which the less about which the less said the better. There is a castle in whose shadow we speak. There is Patrick's Tower, an excellent place to sell crystals. And well to the west of here are Darman and Blosk. Plus, the cave itself is ringed with forts. Ringed with them. Right. Uh, tell me about the castle. It is ruled by King Starus and his trusted advisor. Uh, Houghton. I forget what I decided to pronounce his name like. Houghton. Houghton. I haven't. I haven't ever seen them, of course, or even been in there. It is difficult to get in now that these troubles are upon us. Well, good thing we have an invitation. Where's Patrick's Tower? In the barren south wall of the Great Cave, southwest of here. A place of magical learning. What are the forts? They are going east to west. Fort Emerald near the Slith settlement of Gnas, then Fort Saffron, then Fort Remote. Any news from Darman and Lost? You will be sad to hear that they are afflicted with one of the giant shades, much like all the other great cities. Darman has become very dangerous to visit, much like Amaria. The shade there has clouded their minds, making the people belligerent and unpredictable. Hmm. Very much like Almaria, then. Except that it's easy to circumvent or, you know, just leave it alone, unlike Almaria. Um, and Blosk has fared much worse. The force of the army was brought to bear against the shade there. As, the, as a result, little of the city remained standing. Ooh. That's not great. Okay, thanks for the info, man. It's appreciated. Ah, okay. This is the the uh, force of soldiers. Not as big of a force as I expected. Also, no one here to actually talk to. No named commander or anything. Okay. Well then. Hello? Farmer. Right. Okay, and this... No, no, never mind. I thought we were already directly south of the castle, but the castle is actually over here? Oh yeah, okay. We're actually west of it. 
No, wait, we're east of it. Never mind. Okay, so this map fully explored. This map is almost fully explored. You know what? I might as well finish the job and fill the map in for this one. There's probably not going to be anything particularly meaningful on this map. Okay, so here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that map alone for now. Just take a quick look into this farmhouse. Okay. Um, I mean, I was gonna go there anyway and fill in that bit of the map, but, you know, completionism. What can I say? Alright. Uh, just outside the security and luxury of the castle, you find a sprawling site of desperation and squalor. There is a refugee camp here, spread out over a large, fairly flat expanse of the great of Great Cave floor. The people look miserable and desperate, and it appears unprotected. From where you're standing, you can't see any guards or soldiers. There are some hastily built stone domes, and not much else. One whiff of the air tells you there is nobody hauling away the waste or the trash, and the people look utterly stunned, with no idea what to do or where to go next. It's a pitiful sight. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, not protected shouldn't be that bad, though, since the Great Cave is pretty much the most secure area in Avernum, as far as I'm aware. I mean, there should not be much in terms of roaming bandits, right? At least, definitely not this close to the castle. So at least there's that, but... Um, refugees, uh, presumably from the, the destroyed Blosk, then? Maybe some from Almaria, who actually made it up before things were completely terrible? There's some soldiers in there, though. Hmm. Seek refugees. Um, I think I want to visit the castle first before I take a look at this. There might be some kind of quest involved. Oh, look at this. The castle is going to actually fill almost the entire map here. Nice. As expected, of course. What's this? Uh, you're at the border of the Memorial Lands. Many years ago, this flat, barren expanse of cave was set aside for the best use it could be put to, as a burial ground for the more the more honored of Avernum citizens. Huh. In the decades since, these lands have served as a destination for mourners, grave robbers, and, more recently, empire tourists. Hmm. Now that the disasters have happened and order has decayed, however, signs of trouble are apparent. Trash litters the paths, and some of the mausoleum doors look broken into or out of. Okay, I guess we'll... Check that area out as well at some point. And now finally, we are standing outside the gates of the castle, Avernum's largest and most important, if unimaginatively named, building. Well, I mean, a castle is a castle, I guess. If there is only one, why call it anything else, right? This is the center of the government, where King Starus deals with the issues and problems of all the caverns of the land. The castle was built very early in the history of Avernum, when Micah, soon to be Avernum's first king, led a force to take the Great Cave from the savage Slitzarikai, he called for this fortress to be built in the very center. Back then, Avernum didn't have much in the way of skilled craftspeople or building materials, but it did have several very powerful exiled wizards. It was their, pow their power that did most of the work creating the castle. And that is why even today, after years of renovations and expansions, the castle still looks more like it was grown than built. Wizards like Solberg and Linda shaped the castle out of living rock. Now this place is the command center of Avernum, and it is clearly very active. Spies, soldiers, and messengers run in and out, bringing news and carrying, out, cra carrying orders. For a moment you feel confused and overwhelmed by the level of activity. One official holding a clipboard is standing on the bridge over the chasm that rings the fortress. Perhaps he knows where you should go. That would be that nameless official. All right. Hold on a second. Just closing the gap here. Okay, you know what? Without getting distracted anymore, let's do this, finally. You try to speak with the official holding the clipboard. He looks at your face, cross-references you with a description on a slip of paper, and hushes you before you can speak a word. You can go in. News of your arrival preceded you. You need to see Advisor Houghton. His office is due south from here. You try to ask a question, and the official hushes you again. Do you know how many people have been trying to, to uh, have been trying for, for weeks to see Houghton? Take advantage of your lucky of your luck while you have it. Go go. All right. Jeez. Thankfully, none of the uh, activity 
the game mentioned is actually visible here, or else I guess this would be a pretty annoying and busy area. Um, do south, you say. Uh, what have we here? General's office. Job board. Oh, a job board in the castle. Sure. Uh, Great Cave Bandits. Okay, so much for that. Uh, the Great Cave has had difficulties with bandits recently. I guess they're pretty quick to take advantage of uh, order collapsing. Two bands of raiders have been spotted near the south wall of the Great Cave. These reprobates are led by Avicinth, ah, okay, and Randolph Helpmead. Well, 50% of that quest is already done, I guess. Any adventurer who can kill these two bandits and report the feat to General Marapova will receive a considerable bounty. Nice. Uh, Karalia's needs. Karalia, a wizard in the castle, requires supplies to make investigations of a delicate and secret nature. The adventurer who can fulfill her needs will receive an appropriately magical reward. Uh, Coralia needs a swamp nodule? Oh, okay. So she, that's where we need some of those extra items. A swamp nodule, an icy geode, and a fragment of glowing basalt. I think we should have an extra, at least one extra of each of these. I think. I hope. Alright. Good to know, though, that my list is not actually uh, incorrect. Abyss report. In the recent troubles, it has been very difficult to keep watch on the abyss. Intelligence on this treacherous area has been inadequate. Levitt, master of intelligence at the castle, wishes up-to-date reports from the abyss settlements of Spire and Barga. Payment for information about the current state of these settlements will be generous. Nice. Uh, of course, it's probably going to take us uh, quite some time before we actually get to here, you know, if I'm going to more or less systematically, uh, or maybe not so much systematically, but definitely thoroughly explore the entire Great Cave before heading up there. Well, uh, so that is that. Hello, uh, what's, what is this? Can I, can you please, okay, training hall. Staircase up. General Marapova. You meet one of Avernum's generals, splendid in her polished steel breastplate, complete with insignia. Her halberd sits on a table at the other end of the room. The weapon is short and heavy, like its owner. She sighs with irritation as you enter. Ah, what new waste of time afflicts General Marapo Marapova. What is it? What is this? An adventurer here to pester me? Leave me be. I have, this, I have true soldiers to command. Lady, uh, you appear, appear not to know who we are, so I'll forgive you for now. And unfortunately we cannot even ask her for some kind of assignment. Well, alright. I'd like to know something about the army. Yes, the army is Marapova's business. An army with discipline who follows orders and marches and formation. Not undisciplined adventurers running all over the place and actually getting stuff done. Wait. Uh, adventurers have value, it's true. But holding ground, keeping order, this is the job for a hardworking army. Um, I mean... I'm not going to argue with that, but uh, still, it always seems like we few heroes actually do do most of the the actual important work. Um, maybe the army just cleans up after us or something. Anyway, uh, any interesting news from court? Her voice gets quite loud. Court? Pfft, people come from all over from all over to pester the crown for favors for advancement. It's not my concern. I lead, I fight. That is what Marapova does. Okay. Marapova also likes to speak of herself in the third person, but I guess that's... That's not so bad. Huh. Alright. I guess we'll only return to her exactly once. After we've dealt with Rendell Halfblood or whatever his name is. Uh, this large stone courtyard was built for military presentations, large celebrations, and similar excitement. There is a reviewing platform by the West Wall for the use of the royalty and close advisors. Uh, the courtyard is quiet now, and Moss is starting to invade. The, the soldiers that would present themselves here are probably off fighting monsters and keeping order. All right. Uh, court wizard, northwest, qu uh, guest quarters west, uh, main ballroom, feast hall southwest. Hmm. Nothing about Royal Chamber Southeast, main bone. Uh, nothing about that uh, advisor. Wait. I don't know. What's this here? 
guess score is right. Um, hello, Blade Master. Throne room? The throne room off to the side here. Okay. Not what we're looking for, though. Staircase. Another one. Oh. And it looks like we'll have to walk a long way back because there is no way to the the entrance from there. So I guess I should have known because there wasn't one on this side, right? Oh well. But still I need to check out the entire map. So okay. Second entrance to the throne room. Staircase up, Blade Master. Okay, that opens. Good to know. This is the training room, but no trainer. Hmm. Okay. Not what I expected. Oops. Kitchen. Well, barracks mess. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. to be picked. Interesting. Court Magician. Halls, Hall of Records. Halls of Records. Uh, this huge chamber is the castle's ballroom. It also serves as a feasting hall for times of great celebration. Right now it's cold and dark. It looks like court officials quietly take their meals at tables along the walls, but there are no signs of potential festivities. Entirely appropriate, you think, in a time of war and crisis. Yes was not expecting to see large parties at the castle. You enter a small, out-of-the-way hallway and find that it is bustling with activity. The courtiers line the walls, jostling each other with their elbows and trying to gain entry to the room to the north. Okay, so that's where I want to go, I guess. Uh, two enormous guards flank the entryway, turning back potential invaders with firm words and the occasional beating. Well, when you enter the room, when you enter the room, one of the guards notices you. He shouts, You! Houghton wants you! Get in there! The courtiers seethe with, seethe with envy when they see you getting this treatment. Well, um, and yet we turn around because at this point I've seen most of the castle. I might as well finish the job. This is still locked, yes. Okay, some more rooms. More rooms. Okay, it's only this door that's unopenable so far. Gilda. Gilda? That name seems familiar. Uh, this is the Hall of Records for the castle, where paperwork having to do with Avernum's administration has been stored for years and years. Now that Avernum is corresponding with the Empire, the quantity has only increased. The undisputed mistress of the record-keeping uh, is this tiny old woman in dusty clothes. Though she is thin and pale and has lived in Avernum for many years, life in the castle tends to keep one safe and help one live to a ripe old age. She smiles when you enter. Ah, young adventurers, so full of life and energy. I'm so happy when you... I'm so happy when they visit. I'm Gilda. Have some tea. Oh, how nice of you. I think, yeah, I mean, she's probably, she was probably the record keeper in one of the previous games, right? Um, as in, namely, Avernum 2. Um, that looks like a lot of paperwork. Oh, yes, the Evernites have always been illiterate people, and King Micah did his best to keep everything organized and documented. And, of course, the, necess the necessary record keeping has grown by leaps and bounds recently. Why so much more paperwork now? Because of the power of the Empire's bureaucracy. Any dealings with them must be recorded in quadruplicate. The papyrus alone is ruinously expensive. Um, are all of the records of Avernum here? No, no, just the last 20 years or so. Anything older is taken out and placed in a, stor in a special storage pit. <laughs> a special storage pit, you say. One of the bottomless ones. Um, any interesting news about the court? I try not to think about all that business. Uh, though I do know that young King Starris is uh, very tired lately, poor dear, and Advisor Houghton has taken on much of the responsibility, and is very hard to see. Is King Starris up to the task? Oh, even I thought he wasn't. Uh, even if I thought he wasn't, I would hardly be rude and foolish enough to say so, but I think he is. He is young, and it is a hard road, but I hear he is managing all right. Good to know. Uh, what do you think of Houghton? Not sure. Hardly anyone can get in to see him. Far too busy. 
It is a great aggravation to the court. How can they be beg for favors when they can't reach the person they need to beg from? Yeah, well. Um, you like adventurers? Oh, yes. Sometimes I need to send someone out to fetch records for me. And you dears can be most helpful. For payment, of course. But you need to eat. She smiles. Well, finally, someone who understands. So, are you looking for anything now? Gilda smiles. Oh, I almost always am. The merchant liaison in Elmaria borrowed an old accounts ledger months... Um, months of sun time? Month, month of sun time, eight years back. And he hasn't returned it. And you know how hard it is to get anything from Amaria these days. Yeah, tell me about it. If you should happen to turn it up in their records, I would be most grateful if you brought it back to me. All right, okay, I'll see what I can do. So, if I needed any further confirmation, this proves that we'll definitely uh, enter Almaria for real. At some point, all these staircases up. Um, I will focus on the main floor, though, for the time being. Oh, Roan, right. We were told that he was here. Transport pylon. Grab that real quick. Another way upstairs. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to him first, maybe. Uh, Ron opens the letter, reads it, and shakes his head. It warns me about the presence of the sea monsters. Old news, I'm afraid. Still, I appreciate the service. He gives you a scroll as a rather generous reward. Right, I guess that must have been the, uh, the, the one of the quests, or the one quest from Amaria. Obviously outdated. This man is old. Impossibly old. He looks like he's withering away in, on the bone. It's difficult to spot any bits of actual human in among the bulky wizard's robes he wears. Okay. He peers out of his hood at you with a sharp bloodshot with sharp bloodshot eyes. Something about his mood is tired and resigned, as if he's seen all this before and he will see it all again. Finally, he says, I'm Roan, court wizard of the castle for these many years. Trainer and guide. Houghton said that I'm to assist you, and so I shall. Okay, good to know. Uh, how long have you served here? Served here? He chuckles. His words come out in short spurts, alternating with long, ragged breaths. Helped to build this place, and then I never left. I'm not dead, despite what you might have heard, and I will hold on as long as I can. How have you lived so long? Clean living and magic. <laughs> Mostly magic. We wizards can sustain our lives for a long time. The price is withering away, and pain. But it is the price that many of us old wizards have paid to serve Avernum. How long will you stay alive for? As long as Avernum needs me. No pain is too great to withstand for my homeland. Okay, that's true dedication. I might have heard... I might have heard that you were dead? Ha, ha, might I? I don't know. Once, some years ago, they heard in Upper Avernum I was dead. Letters took a long time to travel back then, and they'd had a memorial for me and put up a stone in my honor before they learned of their mistake. Is that actually what happened? And then this is the... Um, the retconning of him actually still being around? I don't know. Um, they didn't take the stone down because they thought I'd be dead soon, he, ch he cackles. I bet it's, it's up there still. Well, I doubt we'll uh, find out either way. Not in this game. Uh, let's see here. Can you teach me spells? Oh, wow. Indeed he can. Possibly the entire selection? Terror, summon aid, strong days. Oh, strong days, you say. I didn't know that was a thing. Also, that's extremely expensive. Hmm... I mean, oh, well, so much for that. Not enough mage spell, mage skill. Okay. Uh, well, I'll keep that in mind. Mm, what are you working on at the moment? Many projects, so much to do. The repair of the surface portal, the destruction of the shades, and of the sea monsters, just for starters. Uh, when will the surface portal portal be repaired? My agents have arrived and inspected the portal and gotten to work, but we will not repair it until we are sure it will not be sabotaged again. Yes, again, that makes sense. Uh, what do you know about the shades? My assistant, Coralia, he cuffs, young and brilliant. She is working on it upstairs. Ah, oh, okay. What do we know about the sea monsters? Frustratingly little. We know where they came from, based on report. Yep, report from me, actually. The first monsters came from the rivers in the northwest, but I do not think we can defeat them until until we defeat their master. Right. 
Um, do you know how I might see the king? No, you should, I think. But it is not my area. It is Houghton's. The king is young, but he has talent. Houghton is a good man. But he takes too many tasks. That is my opinion, for what little it is worth. All right. Oh. At first I thought he was going to be grumpy and not very helpful, but no. I'm grumpy, yes, but surprisingly helpful. There's definitely going to be some kind of nasty around the corner here. Um, okay. Erratic golem. I wonder if we're doing him a favor, doing Ron a favor by dealing with this thing, if we can, that is. Um, obviously I should have prepared in some kind of way. Might still be fine. No double hits. Ouch. Ooh, that was a lot of damage suddenly. Um, I mean. I guess we can do that. Do some damage, not a whole lot. Heal you. Step forward. Um, buff protection. Finally, some double hits. There we go. Okay, still taking a lot of damage, but this should do the trick. There we go. Lightning was the answer. Okay, we get a focusing crystal. Um, emerald we can sell. Okay. Heal him. I mean, we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot more fighting in here, but you never know. Also. Spell that I that I bought. That's fine though. Um, HP is probably the more important one of the two. Yeah, he's not gonna say anything about that. Not that I expected him to. All right. I said I wanted to check out the lower level first. So I thought this was just gonna be one room with uh, Coralia in it, but I guess there is an entire upper floor. Well, since we're here, we might as well. This woman is quite young to wear the robes of a wizard, and quite lovely. She escaped her apprentice years without even a small disfiguring accident. Uh, she is working hard with her flasks and beakers, making concoctions, doing tests, occasionally sipping something, and taking lots of notes. It's hard work, but she has to struggle to pull herself away to speak with you. The adventurer, the one with the Vanatai mark. May I see it, please? You show it to her. Remarkable, beautiful work. The Vanatai are masters of magic, really. I'm Coralia, and I'm very glad you came to see me. I'm doing research on the Shades, and I've been looking for volunteers to help. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sign me up. And can you give me training? I'm afraid Roan does most of the training. He keeps me busy with my research. Though, you know, the castle has an excellent magical library. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's actually uh, probably pretty interesting. If we have enough arcane lore, we'll see. She winks. If you help me in my work, perhaps I could find a way to get you access. Oh, okay. I see. How long have you been a wizard? Not long. Not as long as most. I studied at the Tower Colony and I... I shouted knack, I guess. Though I do have my limits. What is your knack for? Magic. Pfft, duh. Most people cannot master magic. They can't even cast the smallest spell, no matter how hard they try. And some people, like me, just take to it. Magic flows from us, whether we like it or not. Nobody knows what makes one person one way and one person another. It's a great mystery, I guess. What are your limits? I'm a researcher. I gain knowledge and I expand it. I'm not a warrior. I've never been in battle and I don't think I would do well if, if I were. Still, everyone has a purpose. Right. Um, what are you researching? Rowan has put me in charge of the shade problems. The three shades in the cities. I mean, one to the far northeast, one to the east, and one to the west. They're strangling the cities, and it cannot be tolerated. But being near the Shades is dangerous, even for one of my skill. 
And that is why Roan told me to find adventurers to help with my research. She looks at you, hopefully. Um, obviously, I can help. What can I do? You can give me something to work with, something to actually analyze. I want to see what these creatures are made of, what sort of construct they are. She takes a crystal vial from her pouch and hands it to you. It's covered with small, delicate runes. I want you to go west to Blosk and Darmon, find the shade there, chop off a bit of it, and store it in the vial I gave you. Oh, that sounds extremely dangerous, but I'll see what I can, what I can do. <clears throat> Don't try to kill the shade. I doubt you will be able to. Just hit it enough to whack a bit off, grab it, and run. I can use it to try to learn exactly what these creatures are. All right. That reminds me of another quest we've already done with the shade in Formello. Didn't we collect some some sort of sample? Or maybe we just reported our observations to someone? Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go back downstairs, but... Good thing I picked up that quest, I guess. All right, I'm assuming that the throne room is not going to be accessible yet. So we'll have to go ahead and talk to Houghton first. Might as well get it out of the way. Uh, this is a large, luxurious office with expensive hardwood flooring, wood brought from the surface, of course, and racks of scrolls lining the walls. The decor is meant to clearly convey great importance. The old man in the room needs no such trappings to be impressive. He is tall and thin, and his eyes blaze with intelligence and impatience. His gaze fixes on you the moment you enter, seemingly picking you apart and cataloging you. After a few moments of staring, he waves you in. Yes, yes, the ones with the mark and the crystal. Someone, someone, someone thought that this merited a bit of my time. I am Advisor Houghton, Chief Assistant to His Majesty, and my time is priceless. He asks to see the mark on your hand. After peering at it, he says, So, come on, this precious crystal, let me see it. Let's see it. I'm sparing you a minute. Don't waste it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, let's not uh, deny him that request. All right, I'll show it. You take the crystal and set it gingerly on his desk. Behind you, the guards wait anxiously, watching for the trap. At first, nothing happens. You get nervous. Holton seethes with impatience. And then you hear it, the whispering. It grows louder. For the first time, you can hear it even when you aren't close to the stone. And then something appears. Right. Um, Rentar Uno said that... Or did someone said? I guess it must have been Rentar Uno. Uh, that the, the, the crystal would, uh, like, reveal its true message to, to someone, I don't know, to, to our leaders or something. I don't know. Maybe Maybe I'm making that up. Watch the crystal. A tiny, translucent figure appears above the crystal. It looks like the tiny shade of a vanity. The figure is speaking, and the whispering sound comes from its mouth. At last, the sound becomes loud enough to be audible. This crystal is attuned to the location of the castle. It is there. The message can be delivered. The vanity are, are sending an envoy to the castle. There is a great upheaval, and we must consult with you to determine how best to correct the situation. Please await our envoy and greet him with all diplomatic consideration. Then the shade repeats the message, and repeats it again, and again. It starts to grow irritating. Houghton has a guard take the crystal away. All right, he chuckles. Well, it seems that you might be valuable after all. Valuable? Oh, yes, far more so than these these courtier parasites. The message seems significant, even if it was conveyed with typical infuriating vanity vagueness. An envoy, indeed. Well, don't just stand there. Come in, sit. I would speak with you further. You were chosen by the Vanatai. That seems to be very useful. Come in. All right, finally. I mean, the message itself was kind of... I mean, why go to such lengths to just advise the arrival of, a, of uh, an envoy? Why not just have him... I guess if, if, he, if an envoy had just arrived at the castle, it, they might not have been received uh, very f in a very friendly manner. I don't know. Advisor Houghton. There we go. Finally, we are actually talking to him. <laughs> Houghton says, I know you are more significant at the moment than the standard parasite, but please make this quick. There is still very much to do. Much you can do for Avernum. Right. Um, you're the advisor to the king? I'm the primary advisor the primary advisor to the king, and King Micah before him. I have been in the castle since I was a young man, and that was a long time ago. Uh, what were you before you were an advisor? 
In the beginning, though I laughed to think of it, I was a warrior, then a courtier. But unlike the other parasites, I learned how to make myself useful and how to keep this place running. You advised King Micah? To the extent he needed it, which wasn't much. Oh, he, he, oh, but he was a great man, and he sired late in his life a great son. There is much potential in young stars. He just requires guiding while he learns the true uses of his power. Uh, the true uses of power. Were you here during the war with the Empire? Oh, long before that. I was first stationed here even before the war with Sths and his army of barbarians, the Zarekai. This was decades before you were born. And that was, and that was mere months after the insolence and big mouth after my insolence and big mouth got me thrown down into Avernum. The vast majority of my life in Avernum has been in these glorious halls. All right. Was not expecting him to so eagerly, so willingly talk about himself. But uh, I guess I appreciate a little bit of backstory. Uh, is it possible for me to see the king? Houghton chuckles un unkindly. <laughs> you want to see the king. The parasites outside want to see the king. Everyone wants to see the king. Houghton chuckles. Nobody ever wants poor, poor Houghton. Well, I mean, I didn't say that. I'm talking to you right now. Well, no, you can't see the king. I'm employed specifically to keep you away, so that he can focus completely on the problems facing Avernum. Uh, who are the parasites? The courtiers, the politicians, the merchants looking for handouts. Avernum becoming a real country with relations to the Empire has been a good thing, in its way, but it has drawn all the parasites, bottom feeders, and rich people looking for handouts that are attracted to all places of power. King Stars can't see people and focus at the same time. Houghton clucks his tongue. Clucks? Or clicks. Irritated. Starus is wise and energetic, but he is young. Until he has gained enough experience, he has chosen me to help him with lesser matters. Of course, this opens me to accusations. Accusations? That I'm controlling the king's mind, holding him prisoner, such nonsense. The jealous babbling of petty and greedy men. Paid no mind. Hmm. I mean, someone controlling the king's mind would say exactly that, but uh, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He does seem to have a Vernum's and the king's best interest in mind, at least. Uh, so, what can I do for a Vernum? Yeah, what can I do for a Vernum? Well, as the, the Shard told us, and keeps telling us, the Vanatai are sending an envoy. But that could be a Vanatai, or a Drake, or a bigger talking rock. Who knows what they are sending, or what it has to say. But I have received interesting reports. A merchant, a crystal gatherer, claims that he saw a Vanatai in the sulfurous flats between Elmaria and the Tower and the tower colony. Uh, yes? I mean, I, I guess I, I've i met that merchant, probably. A Vanatai in the sulfurous flats. I mean... Yeah, I think that was Rentaino, probably, and we've already dealt with his little trap. You seem to have an affinity to these creatures. Go, investigate. See if you can find this envoy or some other message. I mean, I don't think that was the envoy that this uh, the Whispering Shard was, uh, was talking about. Uh, any hints on where I should look? Well, the sulfurous flats are huge, uh, are a huge hot field of volcanic rock, not far east of Almaria. Not hard to miss. The crystal hunter said... Not hard to miss? You mean hard to miss. <laughs> the crystal hunter said he saw a creature in the southwest corner of the cavern. Yes, I mean, that's obviously where, we were, where that was and where we were. Honestly, I think it was probably just a slith or an ethyl, but it is worth investigating. Uh, how can I get through Almaria to get there? Uh, seriously? Why is this line even here? There is no way to approach the Great Cave from somewhere else, right? There is no other path than the one I took, so obviously I know the path through Elmaria. I imagine you should do what you did before, but in reverse. Yeah, I mean, duh. We have plans for, for Elmaria, but we aren't ready to carry them out yet. Right. Uh, I've been to the lair you described, and I made contact with the Vanatai. It called itself Rentar Irno. Houghton slaps the top of his desk with his hand. He is furious. I suspected it. Damn her. Oh, her? Was Rentar female? Uh, who knows with the Vanatai, right? Same thing, really. Ah, that damn crazy freak witch with her arrogance and her endless blood debts. Oh, she will not escape this time. I'll make sure of that. As you have, as you have news for me... I, as you have news for me, I have news for you. While you were on the way here, our raiders succeeded in breaching the gates of Almaria. Oh, really? Well, this, I guess this uh, was a major bit of story progress. Um, actually causing some changes in the game world. 
uh, the gates of Lamari. They're open now. And we learned something valuable. It relates to our next task for you. Uh, Rentai Eno said that a lot of Evernight soldiers were about to be killed. Do you know anything about that? Holton stares at the top of his desk and shakes his head. I cannot tell you anything about that. It is... Oh. I, I cannot tell you anything about that. It is... His voice catches slightly. You don't need to know about everything that has been happening, and you do not want to know. Mm, I mean... No, I kind of do want to know. Because I'm sure I'm going to be involved in some way. So something has already happened? Hmm... That's bad. Uh, okay, uh, let's actually report about the uh, the inverted crown and see what he has to say about that. Oh, that nonsense! Levitt is convinced it is some broad conspiracy, but seeing things is seeing things is his job. I think it's I think it's just a random group of thugs with delusions of grandeur. Yeah, I think there might be a little bit more to that, or to it than that. Uh, but if there is something you know, you should talk to Levitt. His offices are in one of the upper towers. I'm not sure which one. He keeps moving. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, can I get more supplies or training? Oh, I don't know. I imagine you can. Go look around. Don't bother me with this trivia. Don't make me think of you as another parasite. Jeez, I thought at this point we had actually proven our worth significantly, but I guess not. Uh, do you know anything about the shades in the cities? Well, I know a lot about how they behave and what they do, but I'm not directly working on defeating them. Coralia is in charge of that. She is one of Roan's assistants, yes. Um, well, anyway, how can I help Avernum now? Well, it turns out the Vonatai did indeed send us an envoy. And then our agents in Almaria learned what happened to him. He got disoriented, went to Almaria, to the Almaria gates, and those crazy pit boys locked him up. Oh, um, well, I'm so glad that they only locked him up. I was fully expecting that they actually hanged him or just killed him on the spot or something. Right, I mean, so long as he's only locked up, obviously I'll just go there and free him. Easy peasy. So, your next mission is simple, straightforward, and involves shouting. <laughs> go see the mayor of Almaria. Get him to free the Vanatai and make sure he gets back uh, back here safely. Normally I'd send a dozen soldiers, or a hundred, but the Vanatai seem comfortable with you, or for whatever reason. So, I picked you for this job. Well, fine by me. Thanks. Well, that was a lot of interesting things happening. Uh, let's see here. Whispering Shard is gone. Got riddance, I guess. Um, okay, we didn't get any items. We just received a couple of quests. Let's see here. Count Center. Right. Hunt Arubis. Oh, yeah, this quest that's gonna. Wait. Oh, no, I never returned to, to uh, Shram. So we'll see uh, how he will react to us not having killed Arubis. Abyss report is gonna have to wait some time, Coralia's needs. Ah, yes, of course. So we don't have those items with us. And we might not have one of them. I think maybe we actually need to pick up an extra IC geode or something. Well, we'll see. Um, that's where, we, where I heard the name before. I wasn't sure. My short-term memory sucks, of course. Uh, Great Cave Bandits, yes, right, we'll have to still kill one of those. Um, we have to actually look for more Orchard Fungus near uh, Camp Samuels. Yes. This is Drill Maria, we'll be able to do that now. Hunt down Crane, that's the quest that's gonna stay in the quest log forever, right. Translate Scrolls. Um, I keep forgetting where we were told to to go to with this problem. Obviously not the librarian or the one of the mages here. Well, maybe there is someone. I guess we haven't seen the magical library, so we'll see. But maybe it's at Pat Patrick's Tower? I'm sure someone mentioned someone I specifically I should talk to, but it's been a while. Uh, Metal blah, 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 Shade Essence, right? And the Voluntary Rescue, of course. Okay. Um... What else? There. Are, well, obviously we want to talk to that. Uh, what's his face? Levitt. So, I guess I'll go ahead and just start looking around the upper floor. And this part is actually disconnected. Okay. Fair enough. Um, 
let's see then. This should probably be the magical magical library. Old records. There's Corellia. This is difficulty 30, okay. 32. In other words, just we're not allowed to enter observation chamber. For observing what? Hmm. Intriguing. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the, the site of a future quest or just there for flavor? Um, sign on the other side of the wall. Interesting. Well, I guess we can probably somehow get to the other side of that then. Uh, Royal Chambers. Really? Of course it can't be opened. And then there's this. Oh, of course. A flaming shrub? Doesn't seem that bad. Ouch. Um, maybe it's kind of bad. Okay, phew. Good thing we killed it, because if it... Uh, I guess it, if it had used its uh, AoE fire attack again, it still wouldn't have killed them. Still, that was kind of random. And also... Oh no, never mind. Path continues here. That cannot be opened. And this goes back down. Wait, was that actually everything we can reach here? Yes. Hmm. Oh, there's the... Staircases along. Wait. Well, there's one here that will lead to the other, the outer wall. Okay. The upper outer wall. Um, and this is just a dead end then. Hmm. There's a staircase up there. Oh, nope, nope, we can't actually go around that way. That's right. Okay, so I checked out this staircase by the library and the one here, yep. At first I thought there were so many, but I'm actually running out of staircases and just for completeness sake, yep, it cannot be opened. Right, there's one here. Blade Masters, so this is just more barracks, basically. Oops, didn't mean to talk to you. Intelligence, ah, love it. Okay, you know what? This. I don't know how long this conversation is going to be, but obviously I'm not going to be able to fully finish exploring the castle, although I'm mostly done. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this off starting by talking to Levitt next time. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.